Hi, my good people. Uh, welcome to Kumant Investment Consultants Limited for being a loyal customer. Today, we are going to look at how you are able to maneuver through it even. That is, how are you able to remove an OTP so that uh, once you log into your it even, it's not necessarily that you receive an OTP over your phone. Number two, if you like to change your phone number or if you like to change your email, how do you go about it? So for that exercise, you need to log into your eCitizen account. Once you log in, this is the dashboard. It appears like this. So uh, once you're on this dashboard, there is somewhere here, return account management. So I'm going to click at account management. So once you're at account management, you can see all your details is all here. So I'm going to start uh, with how you can be able to remove the OTP or uh, the authentication because uh, mostly maybe sometimes you are using your it even more openly and you don't like these ones keep on uh, popping up uh, to your phone or you are using someone's account and uh, maybe uh, to do something for them and you keep on asking them for the password so what you do uh, down here there is some wire return two factor authentication so once you come down here you can see this uh, blue icon eh? meaning that it is active. This, for this account, once you are logging in, you will be required to provide the OTP. So you just click on it to deactivate it like that. So once you click, you click on it, it will ask you the current password so that you're able to verify you are the one who is doing that. I input the password, then you click next. Uh, then once you, you click next, you can see the options are here. Use OTP, send OTP to the phone number, or send the OTP uh, to email address. So for you to be able to do away with that, you just make sure you click at that blue icon there and make sure it turns in active. Then you are going to say complete. And you realize that the next time you are logging into your account, nobody will require you uh, to provide the password that is needed. Maybe once you are through with whatever you are doing, you can be able to come back here and reinstate uh, the, OP, uh, the OTP back by just clicking activate again. And um, once this one turns blue here, it means that the OTP is activated again. You need to provide um, the password or the login credentials uh, so that it can be activated. So just input the password again. Yeah. then uh, just click next then if I want it maybe for the phone number only you can just click on the phone number if I want for both I can just click for both eh? then say complete and once completed if, if you look at the two-factor authentication down here you see it is active once I want to log into my eCitizen, I'll be requiring uh, the OTP. Secondly, you might wish to change, maybe you registered this uh, account long ago. Maybe the email you registered using is what you are not using currently, or the phone number you used, you no longer use it. Eh? So for this case, you require either of it to be active. For example, maybe it's the phone number which uh, you registered with, is not working. For that case, you require the email that you registered with to be active. Or if it is the email that you used is no longer active, uh, for that case, you require now then the phone number to be active. So up here, you can see about the account access information. So if it is phone number here, I'm going to come and click. Maybe I want to change the phone number. Change, but I make sure that the email is active. I input my password here. Then I'll click on next. Then you, you can see you will be required to go to your email because now you are changing the phone number. Get an OTP. Um, put that OTP here. Then uh, once you put the OTP, you'll be required to, to provide your new email address and your email will be changed. For the phone number, again, 
I'm not going to complete this uh, for now because that's not what um, I'm intending to do. For the phone number, again, you come click. Uh, for the email, you come click change. The OTP is sent to the phone number that you used to register. So simply that's how you're able to maneuver through with citizen, change the credentials, and uh, maybe be able to remove OTP if it's you no longer need uh, to access OTP when you are using those services. So I hope this video will be of help to you to be able to maneuver through that system. If you like it, uh, just make sure you subscribe to our channel and even share to your friends so that uh, they can be able to get free funding. So see you till next time.